Over time, I have built up these bits of advice that I always give my couples so that their day can run smoothly and that they can get the best photographs. So I'm gonna share five of these tips with you today. Hello and welcome to A Hoovy Wedding Photography. I'm Jonathan Lockwood and I'm here to help you make the most of your wedding. Now, I have photographed many weddings over many years, and I have found that these tips can either help to drastically improve the photographs or just make the slightest changes. So let me start by giving you my most impactful tip. Tip number one, always make sure you have enough light for your couple and group photographs. Now, I can't stress this point enough. It is especially prevalent with winter weddings that when you are doing your day timings for your wedding day, make sure that you are placing your couple photographs and your group photographs within a period of time where there is enough daylight. I can find often that couples don't always think about this and so they put it in their timings just a little bit further on later on in the day but of course at that time the sun is starting to go down and the light is fading and you won't get those beautiful natural shots if there's not enough light available photographers will need to bring in artificial lighting so that means flash guns sometimes umbrellas so that we can make sure that the lighting is good enough to get shots of you to be honest it's better if we don't use those Natural daylight is always best. So please remember, in your day timings, make sure you give enough time in the day, especially at winter weddings, to have your couples and your group photographs in the daylight. Tip number two, know what you want from your day and only listen to a select few people to advise you. Now, I know this is teaching you to probably suck eggs, but so many people will have their own opinions on how you should or shouldn't do things for your wedding. But you need to work out the two of you what it is you want and to discern from all those voices what you wanna do. Now, it's actually great to have ideas and opinions from other people, especially people that you trust. But if you've got too many, it can confuse you. So do yourself a favor and just limit the number of opinions to a select few people that you know and trust will actually help you to achieve the wedding that you want. And just be careful in managing people's expectations. Be gentle with them, but also be firm in knowing what you want and sticking to your guns. Tip number three, brides. Eat something before you get into your dress. Now, I know this time of the day, you are especially anxious. There's lots of things going on, hair, makeup, all sorts of stuff. And you probably don't even feel like eating, but it is actually one of the most important things for you to do, because you're probably not going to be able to eat until the main meal later on, which is generally around about four o'clock. So there is a massive amount of time in a hectic and very busy day that you are not having the nourishment that you need to give you the energy for the day. So please, please eat something, anything. Just have some breakfast, but make sure you get something nutritious down you to carry you through the day. Okay, so tip number four. Again, this is to the brides. When you're coming down the aisle, make sure to smile and look at that special someone right up the top of the aisle. This is a very special moment when the two of you see each other for the first time in the day, and it can be a little bit overwhelming. I, I can be honest and admit, yes, even I cried when my wife was coming down the aisle on our wedding day. Sometimes the emotions of everything can mean that we forget to smile. So what I want you to do is to consciously be aware that as you're about to walk down that aisle, make sure you smile. Just think, I need to smile. As soon as you lock eyes with that special someone at the end of that aisle, 
look down and give them a beaming smile. It is the most beautiful and wonderful thing to see a couple smiling at each other and looking at each other, to see that first look on the wedding day as the bride walks down the aisle. And then tip number five. Now, this is a photographer's preference, but it can actually mean that you will get great photographs because of it. And this tip is make sure that when you're putting on the ring, you turn your hand upside down. Now, this might seem a little bit odd to you. The natural way to put on a ring is to put it over with your hand over the other person's. But when you're photographing that, you will capture more hands than you will rings. So one tip I love to give is to turn your hand underneath your special someone's hand and put the ring on that way. Then your photographer can make sure they capture that ring going on. It's only something little, but it makes a world of difference to your photographs. So bear that in mind as well when you are putting on the rings. Now, I hope these tips have been helpful for you. If they have, please do like this video and also subscribe to this channel because I will be releasing other videos giving tips from a photographer's perspective for your wedding day. I've also got other videos on how to tie ties, bow ties, so go and check out those videos and we'll see you next time ready for another five tips from a photographer's perspective for your wedding day. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.